Hey guys, it's Alina. Today I wanted to do something a little bit different in honor of Ukraine. I've seen a lot of wonderful sunflower images popping up on social media that people have drawn and painted um, in solidarity and I wanted to do something like that as well today. And rather than using a paid brush set, which might give you the urge to go and buy the brushes, I rather wanted to give you the brush, the canvas, and the colors for free today. So everything I will be doing with the sunflower will be available in the description for free. And instead of going out to buy brushes, I would love it if you would consider donating to a charity that will help the people of Ukraine in some way. Um, I have some ideas, some, some links down in the description. I've donated to the Red Cross of Ukraine. There are a lot of other options as well. And so I hope that this tutorial can inspire you to, to take some action that might help the people who are suffering so badly in Ukraine right now. So let's go ahead and get started. So the canvas that is free to download in the link in the description is just a standard watercolor canvas. We've got the background color. We've got a layer for watercolor paper. And then we have a paint here layer. And the difference between this layer and the others is that this one is set to multiply. This um, M up here, no, usually it would be on normal, but we've set it to multiply because then the watercolor will look like it's seeping into the paper below it. So this is the setup of the canvas. There is also a color palette, which is free. And we've got some basic sunflower colors, some yellows and browns and greens, and then a blue to go on the background, kind of like a blue sky. And it's the Ukraine flag color as well. And then there is the messy watercolor brush, which is also free. And we're going to do the whole painting with just this brush. So this brush is one that I selected from my larger watercolor brush set and as a free sample for you guys. And this one gets bigger with pressure, as you can see here, and it also gets more watery. If you, if the uh, stroke is going on for a while and you're not using a whole lot of pressure, then it will kind of run out of water. And I'll show you more as we start to paint with it. So in addition to the brush, the colors, and the canvas, we will also be using a free photo that is available on Unsplash, and I'll give you a link to that below. And we'll be using this photo as a reference. And so I want to drag it in here. And in order so that it doesn't go into one of these layers, I'm just going to turn them off so that it will go into its own layer. So I have the Unsplash app on my iPad, and it's a very handy app if you have it because you can drag the photos right in by swiping up from the bottom. And I've got it in here. There's my Unsplash app. So I'm just gonna grab grab it and put it over here on the side. And I wanted to use this photo from Rosalie Baker. Shout out to her for making this available freely for us. I just wanna make this a bit smaller so that we're mostly still on this. Okay, so it's very easy to just grab that and then drag it in to procreate in split screen like this. And I'm just gonna make it a bit bigger so that it's just taking up most of the canvas here. Okay, and I also want to put it in my reference layer by going to the gear icon and then under canvas and where it says reference, toggle that on and you have three options here, canvas, image, and face. And so we'll go to image. Currently there's not an image there, but we'll do the same thing. We'll drag the photo into the reference layer. So let's close the split screen now. We don't need Unsplash anymore. And the reference, I'm just gonna make it fairly small in the corner here. I'm not gonna use it just yet. Um, I'll just keep that right there. So having a look at our layers, you can see because I've turned these off, this has come in as its own layer. And so I'm just going to move this so that it's below the paint layer. I'm gonna turn the paper and the paint layer back on. And then on the image layer, I'm going to tap that N and bring the opacity quite low to about 40%. And this is because we want to get the basic shapes 
from this photo. And then we're going to turn it off and continue on our own without the photo. Um, and you might be a more talented artist than me and able to just look at the reference photo or just make it up out of your head um, in order to get the shapes down. But this is not really my specialty to make realistic flowers. And so um, I just wanted to have the photo in there in order to block out the shapes to begin with. And this still, this is not going to be super realistic. That's just not what I do. I just wanted to have a kind of floaty, flowy looking watercolor uh, piece with these sunflowers. So let's go ahead and start. And we're gonna be using the messy watercolor brush throughout the entire thing. So let's start with the stems down at the bottom here. And from our palette, I'm going to choose the slightly yellowish green here. And we'll just use one color for the blocking out. And then we will go back and do the shading after we've turned off the photo. So I'm just gonna kind of see where where is green. And I'm gonna start to fill this out. Oops, I think I'm on the wrong layer. Yep, okay. You need to make sure you're in the paint layer. I was on the photo layer, so that would be a tragedy to paint the whole thing on that layer. And then it's on the same layer as the photo. So yeah, turning, just coming in here and adding the color rather roughly. And you can see with this brush that it kind of runs out of water towards the end so that you can actually use this to soften the edges. And we'll use this a lot more with the shading as well. But I'm just kind of filling out these stems right now. Every now and then I'm just lifting up the brush and then continuing. And I basically just want the shapes in here. I don't want uh, to do any anything fancy. got some basic uh, leaves and stems plotted out. I'm just going to add a little bit more here because I just feel like it needs a bit more. So now we've got some basic greenery shapes uh, blocked in and let's go ahead and do the middles of the flowers and then the petals at the very last. So for this one this is kind of a dark brown color so let's choose this dark brown here still with the same brush. I'm just gonna block it out for now, and then we can fill in the texture later. So I'm just gonna kind of fill it in like, so we know where it's at. I think this one requires a different color because it is not as ripe. So let's go with this bright green here for the middle and then we'll move on to a more of a yellow green color. There we go for the middle. And then let's go with, let's go with this darker gold. Because you can kind of see up here, it's still quite gold, the middle. And now let's do some petals. I'm just going to choose this yellow, mustardy yellow color here. And continue blocking out these areas. This 
is a messy watercolor brush, so we're not going to be getting clean lines out of this. And I think for the purpose of this piece, it's fine. I'm not really very good at super detailed drawings or paintings. I'm more into an abstract and loose style. So that's really what, what we're trying to do here. Okay, so I've just finished blocking out the colors and I'm okay happy with that for now. So let's go ahead and turn off the, the uh, image and let's continue by looking at the reference photo from this point. So I wanted to go ahead and add some shading at first uh, and I'll do it on the stems first with this dark green color. Still the same brush, and I'm just going to look at the reference photo and just start to darken some of the edges based on that or just whatever I feel seems like a good idea. So what I'm doing with the shading is that it adds this kind of hard, harsh looking line, but then I can soften that line with the same brush stroke if I'm just not lifting up the brush and I can sort of blend it in like that. And this is kind of like as if I had uh, as if this was the painting was still wet with watercolor and so like it looks like a harsh line but then it sort of starts to dry and blend in so that's what I'm going for with this brush So I'm not going for super realistic here, mostly because that is just not something that I feel like I can do um, at my skill level. I just feel like this needs something. So let's continue the shading over here. So I'm mostly just trying to define a couple of leaves, um, obviously not trying to be really realistic. This is just a very loose representation and meant to be imperfect. So I think that's good enough for now on the greenery. Okay, so now we're gonna do some shading. You can see that some of this has been left sort of empty. So 
down here towards the bottom of some of these petals, I wanted to do this orangey yellow color, almost brown, as kind of a shading color. And then we'll, we'll go on to some lighter colors as well on the petals. So I'm just gonna kind of line uh, this area down here by the, by the middle of the flower and fade it upwards. this color to define some of these petals a bit more. So I might come back to this color at some point, but I wanted to, it's all getting a little bit dark. So I wanted to go to the bright yellow and then start doing some of the highlights on the petals. So I'll be doing these the same way that I did the, the shadow. It's just the highlights now. where some of these leaves are folded over. I just want to really highlight the yellow, the brighter yellow on those bits, especially. This is turning out a lot pinker than I meant it to, to be honest. And this is actually the second time that I've been doing this today because the first time that I recorded this, um, I managed to lose the video. So that was a bit of a bummer. And if I'm not super chatty this time around, it's because I used all my chatting powers on the previous video. I've got my, my regular yellow back again and I'm just kind of adding a little bit more so now I'm just adding a little bit of dotting here on the middle because I was noticing that it is kind of blending in with a lot of what's already going on. So I just wanted to make, make it clear that it's textured like in the photo. And I wanted to do some dotting down here as well. I think I'm gonna get the lighter brown and just do some very, very light little dots. I 
I think I'll just take that dark brown and do a bit more dotting in the dark color. So I've noticed that in the reference picture we have a little bit lighter in the middle here. So I'm going to just go with this greenish brown and try to make a little ring in the middle here. And let's put a background in. So up here in the layers, let's add a new layer and then move that one below the paint here layer. And I'm going to tap that N and turn that into a multiply layer, just like the one above. And I'm just going to name that background and maybe blue. So now let's go ahead and select that lovely blue color. And in the same brush, this is all with the same brush, we're just going to, we're gonna turn that off. We don't need that anymore. And we're just gonna go around and give this a background. So I'm gonna make the brush a little bit bigger. And what we can do is we can kind of make kind of a big, we can make kind of a big splatter here without going on to where the flower is because watercolor is transparent. So we don't really want to have it right behind the watercolor. But then after making the big splatter, we're just gonna kind of drag the edges out, just kind of how we did with the shading so that it fades inward toward the flower. And you can feel free to just do multiple splashes on top of each other for some interesting texture. I'm actually gonna do this over here. Make a nice big blue splotch here. So I like this because it kind of looks like the blue of the sky. It's also Ukraine colors. And the sunflower is actually the national flower of Ukraine, which is why we're seeing a lot of sunflowers right now. And why I wanted to do this tutorial in particular, even though, even though flowers are not my specialty to be honest. I do want to work on my flower drawing skills though. So thanks for coming along with me while we do this. So I'm just gonna have another look at my background. Let's see if we want to add a little bit more to the edges here. So I think we're about done with that today. Thank you so much for following along with this video today and I hope that you were able to find something enjoyable from it and I hope that you enjoy the free brush and uh, palette and canvas and please consider making a donation to one of the charities listed in the description below. Even a small amount can really make a difference to someone who is being forced out of their home and having a really hard time right now. So I really appreciate you watching the video. Thank you so much for following along and I will see you next time.